Tony Ferguson, thank you so much for joining me today. You are taking on Kevin Lee in the main event at UFC 216 for that interim lightweight title. First thing I've I want to talk to you about is the fact that you are facing Kevin Lee. There's been a lot of talk in that lightweight division about who thought they should be next in line to face you for that interim belt, but it turned out to be Kevin. Were you surprised when you got offered him as the opponent? Absolutely not. He's a game opponent. He's coming off a couple of fresh victories. He's got a nice consecutive list, the same as myself. Um, and he's the only game opponent that won to sign on the dotted line. I uh, use that term not too vague because the top five, a little busy. You have one that doesn't want to defend a vacate. You have one that just likes to go tiramisu Tuesdays too often. The other guys are filming. And uh, when the other guys are filming, they could have asked myself because I was an Ultimate Fighter alumni. So I would have loved to have been able to take that opportunity and to be able to market myself a little bit more. But this guy has a loud mouth. Can we put a real journalist on? Oh, buddy, you you know, get it didn't even make sense. Too, so I mean, hey. can, let, let, let's, let's throw on another uh, a real journalist. And from Fox Sports interview to all the way to this, I told him, I was like, you need to put in more time. You need to market yourself. And he did. He marketed himself into a whole lightweight interim title against myself. So what really are your expectations then for this fight between you two? Obviously, the lead up has been really fun. But in terms of the actual fight itself? Uh, as far as the terms in the actual fight itself, I expect his conditioning to be top notch. We come from the same university, but he never went as far as I did. Um, I like to look at myself as a master trainer. I train a lot of trainers and I have a great uh, a look at somebody's gait. Now his conditioning and the overall, the way, the way that he holds his pads and the way that he's pretty predictable in how he emulates Conor McGregor to the whole entire way. Now with that being said, I guarantee you he spent his whole entire camp boxing. Now when you're boxing like that, you're going to forget that you have feet and you forget that you have takedowns and submissions. Now if you spend all the entire time trying to emulate Connor and try to be better than him at the Performance Institute, this kid's gonna have a hard time with me. What really are you working on then for this? Because every time we see Tony Ferguson inside the Octagon, it's an unorthodox approach, a freestyle approach. In order to have a strong house, you have to have a solid foundation. And my foundation is in concrete. It's all my basics I've mastered. I have a double doctor in athletics. So when I use that, I use all of the drills and all the techniques that I have accumulated over the past years. My toolbox, my arsenal is much more than this kid's. You know, when I spoke to him, he said he thought this might go the full 25 minutes. Is that your expectation as well? Depends on how bad he pisses me off. For me and this one, I, I listened to my wife. She said, Anthony, I need you to go to Big Bear. She's like, I need you to go and do this. I have these gut feelings. I need you to go out there and I need you to get gritty. So that's exactly what I did. I took my car, I, did, I went all the way up there, brought all of my equipment. I never use any excuses. If I need to do something, I'll do it myself. In, I mean, just this whole entire camp was amazing. I tried to double up what I did against RDA because what I did worked. Staying mentally tough is something that I, I love and that's what's the difference between myself and Kevin Lee. How do you feel his mentality is? His mental game is very tough, it's very tough. Uh, but he looks past his opponents and that's the one thing that I've seen and I have done before in my past. So I know how to deal with guys like this. I know how to push them or how to break them mentally and physically. And this guy, I've already got his number. He's already looking past me. For this, it's, you don't go to the wrestling bracket and look at who you're gonna be able to beat all the way to the front. No, you have to face your opponent, the one that's next in line. Daniel Cormier said that too, but all great wrestlers say that. You don't look past your opponent, you look through them. What about this, the animosity between you two? I mean, we saw it, we watched it unfold on television. We saw the beginnings of it, but then, you know, throughout the summer, there's been you know, some incidents where you guys had run into each other or had some sparring on Twitter. But now, is, is the point for all of that done? Is the face-off Friday going to be very calm? Like, what are you thinking during fight week with this animosity between you two? I'm not thinking any of it. There's so much other things in this world to worry about. I mean, we're here in Las Vegas and just this past week, it was kind of an unfortunate event. Um, it's hard to stay focused with that kind of a mentality. It really is. Um, I mean, he's a native here too, so I guarantee you it's going through his mind too. But the part is we're here for a reason. We're here to fight. I'm not looking at him as a fighter. I'm looking at him as an athlete. And that's how I'm taking this whole entire thing. You know, there's so much other things like earthquakes, shootings, there's world terror. I mean, there's so much different things that are out there that, are, that could just, just completely just happen at any time. So for me, I, I, sometimes it's hard for me to not get emotional during a fight, but I learned to channel that chaos and turn that into something different, something beautiful, like an artist. I'm a renaissance man inside that octagon. And with Kevin Lee, he's a one-dimensional fighter, 
He has a big mouth, which I think gets in the way of his talent. Now he has great technique and hopefully he doesn't let that get in the way. Because if he tries to go out there and emulate something that you're not, that's fake. Don't be fake, be real. You mentioned that we're in Las Vegas and things are a little difficult. You're a dad, you are so involved in your son's life. You're a husband and you're a really cerebral guy. You have a real grip on your feelings and the things that go on around you. Do you feel like you have the opportunity this week to kind of take the attention off the bad things and be that great distraction for people, especially in this city right now? Absolutely. Not only myself, win or lose, I can walk away from this table of champion. But this is beautiful, this is why we do this. We don't just do this to, to go out there and fight and beat somebody up. We aim to inspire, we aim to, to go out there and try to motivate, to get people that they see the, the, the hard work, the grit and the determination. Regardless of myself, Kevin Lee, you have Demetrius Johnson trying to break records. You know, you got against Ray Borg. And there's so many different things that are going on and hopefully this might be a distraction for some people. Yeah, beautifully said. You know, if you walk away with your hand raised on Saturday night and that interim belt around your waist, are you expecting to unify this belt with Conor McGregor? In due time, if it does, I'm not really worried about it. There's so many other, like I said, there's so many other things in this world that you gotta worry about. The one thing I'm gonna do right after the fight is go and give my wife and my son a hug and a kiss because this has been a very long camp. I've been training for 10 months straight. I got up to 200 pounds two times, and it's not a poor meat thing. And this is, this is a, one of those things that I did to myself. Why? Because I wanted to point and prove to Khabib that you can do it. So for me, it was about just keeping that grittiness and about translating it. And any person that's ever helped me get to this spot, that either it was a handshake or a smile or a pat on the back or a good job, or even if it was bad, it's like one of those things where it's like, Anytime you've ever had a point in a, in a position to have a relationship or to have a talk and pay that forward, that smile, this is what it's about. So I'm trying not to bring any animosity into this fight. I won't bring any animosity to this fight because it's gonna take me out of my game. How do you get it done on Saturday night? I get this done in fashion. I get it done by not getting hit, not using my face as a hand mitt, and raising my hand in victory against Kevin Lee. Tony, thank you so much for your time. Best of luck to you in the main event of UFC 216 against Kevin Lee on Saturday night. Thank you.